So we're in Moore, Oklahoma right now. We've been here for about three days. When we first arrived, the first thing we did is go to the school that collapsed where all the children were. After 50 large-scale disasters that I've been to, that's probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. You know, to know that underneath that enormous building were children just it, it, it was hard to deal with, even as we were working. It was hard to hold back the tears. But uh, fortunately, this is what we have been prepared for, for things like this. And those firefighters and emergency workers, they needed plasma cutters, and they needed the crane, and they needed a compact track loader with a claw on it, and they needed lighting. You know, and that's what we had, and that's what we brought in, and that's what we used to help. And uh, I'm hoping that in the end, we were able to bring some closure to some of those parents. Because what's happened here in Moore, Oklahoma is so huge, we're not just gonna focus on responding to the disaster. We're also gonna give a lot of effort to being here over the long haul, cleaning up people's home sites, helping them find their belongings, doing anything that we can possibly do to help families get back on their feet. I mean, everywhere I look, uh, you know, there's people and people in shock, people with not much left. I mean, if they have a car, it's been all banged up. If they have clothes, it's dirty and all ripped up. It's, it's sad to see all this. It's, it's sad to see people having everything taken away from them. And I think a lot, of, a lot of them are still in shock. A lot of them are not sure even what to do or where to go. And it's, it's hard to see that.